Hi, this is Sherry Shabowski, and today we're going to be talking about the male reproductive system. Okay, here is the overview of the male reproductive tract. Note the urinary tract and the reproductive system share the same outflow tract, and that is the urethra. The players of the reproductive tract include the testes, the epididymis, the vas deferens, the seminal vesicles, and the prostate. The job of the reproductive tract is to make sperm and to facilitate reproduction. It starts in the testicles, where the sperm are made. The sperm goes from there to the epididymis, where the sperm become mobile and where they are primarily stored. From there, the sperm travels through the vas deferens, which propels it forward through toward the urethra for ejaculation. The seminal vesicles contribute a large part of the fluid that contributes to the ejaculate. It contains fructose to provide energy to the sperm. It contains prostaglandin. It also alkalinizes the semen. It is not the primary storage site for the sperm, as we said, that's the epididymis, but it does store it between ejaculations, so it's ready to go. When it's time for ejaculation, the smooth muscle within the seminal vesicle contracts and the semen is sent into the ejaculatory duct. The prostate also adds some fluid to the semen. This fluid provides nutrients and protection. The prostate also contracts during ejaculation to facilitate the movement, and the ejaculate is then expelled. Vasectomy basically means cut the vas, and in this case, we mean the vas deferens. Cutting both, and obviously it's important to cut both, of the vas deferens essentially blocks sperm from getting into the ejaculate. The man can still ejaculate the other components of the semen, but from then on, they are basically shooting reproductive blanks since sperm cannot access the ejaculate. Some very clever anatomists and physiologists realized that cutting the vas deferens could accomplish this task. There are so many reasons why understanding anatomy and physiology can help you in your career, and possibly you will make a revolutionary contribution to medicine someday. I hope this gave you a motivational context to learn about the male reproductive tract. Thanks for listening. Please follow, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check me out on Facebook. And please consider the courses available to you at www.medicaleducationinminutes.com. Thanks for listening.